scanning electron microscope. The model we have in University of Limerick is Hitachi SU70. The main components of microscope are column for electron beam generation, specimen chamber, vacuum pump, monitor, control panels. The upper part of the schematic structure is the so-called column. It is used to generate an electron beam. The lower part consists of the specimen chamber. The flange leading to the high vacuum pump is at the bottom of the structure. Thereby, vacuum is generated inside the whole microscope. The thermionic cathode to generate the electron beam. Anode. Magnetic lenses. Focusing lens. Backscattered electron detector. Secondary electron detector. The electron gun emits the electrons. The strong magnetic field between the cathode and anode accelerates the electrons downwards. The primary broad diversing beam is concentrated by a series of magnetic lenses to focus finely on the specimen. At the point of incidence, primary electrons knock out the electrons of sample material. These knocked out electrons are called secondary electrons, which are collected by the SE detector. The number of the secondary electrons is recorded at the SE detector and the signal is amplified and displayed as a dot at the top left hand corner of the monitor. The measurement is repeated to create more dots on the photo. Many recorded secondary electrons lead to a bright image point, less leads to a darker point. Now, let's look at the sample preparation with L-glutamic acid as an example. To do the sample prep, we need sample stud, a spatula, tweezers, carbon conductive tape. Attach the carbon conductive tape to the sample studs and use the spatula to put the sample powder on the tape. Use an air gun to blow off the redundant powder. Now, use gold spatter coating to coat the samples with gold particles to increase the thermal conductivity reduce the beam damage, reduce the sample charging, and to improve the secondary electron emission in order to improve the image resolution. The gold coating is done. Liquid nitrogen is refueled and poured into the liquid nitrogen chamber to cool down the detector as to reduce the background noise detected. The specimen is screwed onto the sample base and mirrored with sample gauge to ensure the sample height is standard. The specimen chamber can be opened once the pressure is equalized. The specimen is fitted to the sample holder. The specimen can be pushed in once the microscope is evacuated. The chamber door is then closed. The beam voltage is optimized. For gold-coated L-glutamic acid, 10 kV is used. The specimen is exchanged to home position. It gradually moves over to the central of the beam stream. The focus, brightness, magnification and the point of interest is controlled by the control panel to get better images. Love Science, Love Nano Please visit www.ifnano.com.